Hello friends. Hi, how are we today? I hope we're all doing well. I am coming with you, um, coming to you for the week of May 29th through June the 4th. We're finally in June, friends, using the farm kit from the Prairie Planner. I don't actually know if this is still available in her shop, but I kind of hope it is. I realize now that I put the bottom washi down upside down, um, but honestly, I don't really mind. It doesn't look that bad except for the more I look at it so we'll just pretend that it's the right way up um <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking uh this was such a beautiful spread to film it was a pretty busy week if we're going to be totally honest about it um a lot of things um a, like it was a beautiful week weather wise and then it was just like a busy week because things needed to get done so that was good um and it was when I was like being all productive uh, and getting my filming and doing like that and being all proactive with that. So um, you'll see a lot of that. Um, and this is when I really started to do a lot more of my walks more regularly and more thoroughly. So you'll see more of that as well. And this was also the week that my husband was extremely sick and I had had strep throat the week before, but his symptoms were not the same as mine. Um, so we got tested for COVID like a million times. Um, but I was like, eh, it's just a cold, like stop being so dramatic. And then my mom, who was a doctor was like, mm, given his symptoms and given how high that fever is, he needs to go to a doctor like ASAP. And he goes to a doctor and they're like, oh my gosh, this is an upper respiratory breast, uh, uh, chest infection. And he had to get antibiotics pretty quickly. Um, and like in hindsight, given the fact that I had been so sick, I should have assumed something was going on with him. But I just was like, no, it's just a cold because he also, when he gets sick, refuses to take medication and um, just like whines about it. <laughs> I don't know if you have a spouse who does that. It's like my biggest pet peeve in the world. Like, oh, I'm sick, but I'm not going to take anything for it, um, which is fair. Everybody is entitled to their own opinions. It's just it's the complaining about it after that's the issue for me. Um, whereas like I take the medicine, I'm like, oh my God, I've got the medicine. And I'm still feeling crappy, <laughs> you know, double standards, all of that jazz. Anyway, he ended up going to the doctor and getting the help he needed, which was good. And, um, I know that he started to feel better by the end of the week, which was also good because he desperately needed to feel better. And I felt like putting down the base this week was a bit of a struggle. Um, and I don't know why I really am loving using three headers, but what I'm really not loving is running out of space using three headers. So I don't know how much more I'll be using three headers going forward. Um, but certainly, um, certainly this week and the last couple of weeks actually that I've done it, it has looked super duper cute. I really, really enjoyed it. And then I just used the four set of headers in the sidebar as dividers for the kit, which I didn't necessarily need to do, but I think it actually turned out really nice because you really needed that like sort of darker pinky beigey shade to bring in everything together. Like it, it was just really, really nice. So I'm glad I did that. Um, and then I just put the date covers down. Um, and that was nice too. The thing is I'm looking at this now on my phone screen, which is where I do all my video editing. And it's looking super duper washed out, but it's not a washed out kit. It's just the colors in the kit. So it's hard to adjust that lighting to get it perfect for every single kit. But I really love how this turned out. And I think it looked really, really beautiful. Then I struggled with the sidebar just a little bit, just deciding what I wanted to do. Uh, I was trying to mark some things down this week. Um, and it, it was so interesting because as I said, there was a really long spurt of really glorious, nice, beautiful weather. And then, um, this week was really nice as well, but I was watering my garden because there was like no rain at all in the forecast. And I think that changes in the next like week or two. I think we'll see it in the next week or two coming up. Uh, and I was currently reading a different book this week, a darker shade of magic. And it just, I, I can't get into it. And I'm so bummed because everybody loves this series, but it's just, I'm having trouble getting into it. And I was really slumping after Emily, uh, Emily Wilde's 
encyclopedia fairies. And so this is the week that I started fourth wing. And let me tell you, if you have not started fourth wing, what are you doing with your life? It is freaking phenomenal by Rebecca Yaros. It is a great book. So then, um, what was I trying to, oh, I was just trying to consolidate all my sheets here. Normally I do that off camera. I don't know why I decided that this was the day that I was doing it on camera. Um, but I was just consolidating all my sheets and I ended up with three here and then I started into my day by day. So on Monday I used a Sweet Tea Sticker Co. Olivia and I started my day with a general tidy. Um, it was really, really nice. And then I just noted that my husband was extremely sick. And again, for my husband to be sick and for me to note it down in my planner or like my memory journal also should have clued me in that he was not well because that is not how life goes. Um, but he wasn't so sick that I couldn't leave the baby with him. So I got a pedicure at 10 30 AM and it was like an hour. It was fine. The baby slept the whole time. So, you know, I was like, Oh, my husband's not that sick. Um, and then he got a bunch of new video games that he wanted to play and he really enjoyed them. So I used, um, a icon, an icon, so that uh, nail polish icon is from the kit, and then the gaming icon is from a $2 Tuesday sheet from the Prairie Planner, uh, which was really nice. And then the afternoon, I used a half box and a Coffee Monsters Co. Emoti. Uh, we did outdoor play with my kid. It was really, really fun that afternoon. Um, I think we played with bubbles. We played with his soccer ball. It was really nice. Uh, and then I used a film and edit script, and then a uh, filming and an editing clipboard um, from paper, or Sweet Tea Sticker Co. to note that I filmed my June kit lineup um, as well as editing and scheduling some videos, which was like a big deal. And I just was trying to figure out how to fit everything. Um, so that was a bit finicky. And um, then moving on to Tuesday, I did a daycare drop off that morning and then I forgot to pull an icon um, to mark that we had done groceries. So I just used the cash from the kit. The groceries, um, we are in Southern Ontario and the grocery prices for everybody uh, really are incredibly out of control and this was no different. Um, but I think really about two months ago is when my husband and I started noticing it like extremely badly. Um, it's just, it, it's a lot, it's a lot. And, uh, particularly when both of our kids are now eating, like my littlest is eating solids now and, um, you know, you got to feed them and snack them. And even when you make snacks yourself, just the cost of the base materials are still incredibly expensive. So, um, I hope, that everybody is not struggling. Um, we're doing fine. We're in a privileged position. It's just tighter than it used to be, but I know that not everyone is in that position. So, um, I hope everybody is okay. Uh, then I noted again that my husband was still sick <laughs> and, um, I was trying to like, Oh, I had moved, I had used these quarter boxes from that one sheet that was left over with the girls, um, just to note uh, daycare drop-offs, but then I realized I didn't actually drop off my kiddo on Thursday because my husband was so sick he stayed home, but he rather, he would have rather taken, um, my older one to daycare so he didn't have to go on the bus or anything, so... Um, you'll see how I use that later on in the week. It's fine. So I just noted that he's still sick. And then, um, my kiddo and I did a 5.21 kilometer walk that morning. It was really nice. As I said, the weather this week was absolutely glorious, hot, but glorious. Uh, in the afternoon, I had noted that my kiddo, I put him down for a nap and independently he slept for two and a half hours. And up until this point, my kiddo really hasn't slept more than an hour uh, for his naps at any given point. So it was it was a really big deal unless he was on me. So independently was the key here. Uh, then I took my older kiddo after he got home from daycare. I took him out to the parks. Um, so there are two parks very close to my house. So I took him to both of those. Uh, and then after both of the boys went to bed, I just read it outside and had um, an adult beverage, a gin and tonic, because let's face it, it's gin and tonic season. Uh, after the May 2-4, I think it's appropriate and it was really hot. So it was a lovely, lovely evening. And then uh, I just used a Coffee Monsters Co. It was very Coffee Monsters Co. heavy um, that night to mark that I had an early night myself. The next morning, um, my littlest had been up all night. 
just just up all night and actually it'll make sense in a and the next day why he was up all night but you'll see and then I used the coffee monsters co emoji to note that he my husband went into the walk-in this day um but he was feeling okay enough I used a sweet tea sticker co Olivia to note that we went to the farmer's market and I love the farmer's market Olivia she's so perfect and I spent way too much money like I always do but it was really nice to go we don't often get to go and then um my husband and I watched some tennis in the afternoon. It was Roland Garros, so the French Open, and there were some Canadians in it. Um, my littlest was very grumpy, very cryy, very agitated all afternoon. Uh, so in order to get him down for a nap, I had to nap with him this day. Excuse me, I don't even talk about a nap and I start yawning. And so I used a paper and milk maru to note that. Um, and then I used another emoji. Um, my kid, my older kiddo and I did outdoor play again the next day. Very easy peasy lemon squeezy. And then that night, uh, no more drinks outside, but I was just reading outside. I was like determined to be this reading girly and the bugs started this night and I got a candle, which was really nice. I got a citronella candle and it works pretty well as well as a bubble machine. If anyone was wondering, um, so I was like very excited to go outside and do some reading. Still couldn't get into the book though, which very, very frustrating for me. Uh, the next day, because I didn't have daycare drop off, I used the stethoscope from the kit just to know that my husband was still sick. He was really not well and he never takes time off work for being sick. And he was sick enough that he had to take time off work. It was, it was tough. Uh, so then my littlest and I went for a 6.21 kilometer walk, which was really nice. He slept very nicely. And then I did probably four loads of laundry when it says all the laundry so much laundry it's definitely more than two loads uh then I changed the sheets on our bed and in the afternoon um I added fertilizer to all of my vegetables that I was growing so that ad fertilizer script is from Sweet Tea Sticker Co as well as the Olivia who's just doing gardening which I love I love that I have everything that I need for gardening from Sweet Tea Sticker Co it's like it's fantastic um, next I struggled a little bit with how to mark everything for the rest of the day. I had forgotten that it was kind of really busy. Um, but I used a Fox and Pip custom icon with a soccer ball to note that my kiddo had soccer from six until seven. I had made a rhubarb crumble that day. Not a rhubarb crumble. I made rhubarb compote and I used just a meal prep board from Sweet Tea Sticker Co. again. And another Sweet Tea Sk Sticker Co. Um, piggy bank. Uh, it was a no spend day. I noticed my spending was a little bit out of control. And I really wanted to take a moment and like rein it in. So I wanted to mark some no spend days. And I did do a July Bujo setup. I didn't get my stuff together to do an August one, but I will be doing a September one. So let me know in the comments down below if that is something that you would like to see a September Bujo setup. Um, I used a day extender from the Prairie Planner and uh, finally had quarter boxes that fit. Uh, so I just used the uh, computer icon from the kit to note that I added, edited and scheduled a haul video. So I was editing and scheduling a haul video uh, and I forgot that I needed to mark the biggest thing of the day, which is that my kiddo had his first tooth erupt through the skin, which is why he had been so agitated and sleepless for the last few nights. So um, again, I thought I had more space and I just ran out of space because apparently <laughs> that's my life now, <laughs> just running out of space all the time. Then on Friday, um, again, I used a Coffee Monsters Co. It's the drop off and pick up sheet. So just uh, drop off to take care and another really, really tough night with my little guy. And oh, the tooth icon that I used on, um, on Thursday was also from Sweet Tea Sticker Co. There's been a lot of Sweet Tea Sticker Co. in this spread. She's got a lot of icons that I use for a lot of stuff. <laughs> Anyway, so on Friday, I did daycare drop off and I marked another really, really tough night with my kiddo. Um, and we had just walked home from daycare that day, a 4.78 kilometer walk and just, you know, a little bit further than normal. And then we did our June Bujo setup. So that was really nice. And I just used the planner disc bound from the kit, but I really like how it looked. 
Then I was trying to figure out how to mark the afternoon. I didn't have as much to mark that evening, so I used a quarter rounded off box with a paper and Maru nap. Uh, I napped with my kiddo again. Uh, it was no spend day two. And then I used a TV from the kit and I marked uh, RuPaul's Drag Race uh, All Stars Season 8, which was nice. On Saturday, we were all up at an ungodly hour of the morning because both the boys woke up before 5 a.m. I can't tell you what a sleep in six is when you're up like before five or at five. It's insane. Um, and then I was just trying to figure out what I wanted to do and how I wanted to mark things. Um, I should have marked things a little bit differently at the top, but we went to Sobeys and we had to pick up a few grocery items. Um, so the, the one issue that I've noticed specifically with shopping is I'm spending more money, but I'm getting less food, obviously. But my food is also not going as far. Um, so because I like I need to buy everything that I regularly buy, but there's less of it, then I still have to supplement with a second shop early in the week. I used to be a one shop strictly early, one shop per week strictly, and now I'm like two times. Um, but I used a uh, shopping bag from the kit for that. And then another Coffee Monsters Co. Mama and Me Emoti, just to note that my kiddo, my littlest, went down for a nap. So my older guy and I had one hour of just like snuggling, watching a device together, just having some time, just him and me, which is really hard to find the balance when you're a parent. Um, that afternoon, we went to the park, which was lovely. And we had a play date with some of our friends. And then in the afternoon, I used a Fox and Pip icon to note that we were outside again in the backyard. And um, we had FaceTimed my mom and my dad on this day. So we call them every day, but um, Saturdays and Sundays, we usually FaceTime them. On Sunday, I marked yet another early morning. It wasn't a great feeling. And then I marked that we changed uh, both the sheets on the crib and my son's toddler bed, which is cool. Fox and Pip icon for that. Uh, and then um, our neighbors down the street came over for an impromptu play date. Like we just ran into them on the street when we were going to the park and they're like, yeah, we'll come over. That'll be fun. Um, so they came over for a play date and then in the afternoon we had a scheduled play date with our neighbors, like a couple doors down. Um, so that was really fantastic. I just put out like a spread of food for everybody and that was nice. And their kids are about four months younger than my oldest. Um, and they're both in October of 2020 of my guy is May of 2020. Um, so they are we've been weaned from our afternoon naps for a really long time. They are currently like in the process of it. So I always try and like schedule around that. Then both of my boys had an early night that night. They were very tired. Um, and I started fourth wing that evening. It was amazing. I was so excited and I was like immediately drawn into the book and I couldn't put it down from start to finish. I think I finished it in like two days. Uh, and I used another Fox and Pip icon just to note, um, that I had a bubble bath that night. Overall, it was a really good week, really good weather, really fun times with our friends, no toddler meltdowns. Like it was a good, good week. I hope you enjoyed this video. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Toodles.